Please stop screaming! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen dramas of the last decade. I need you to know that my life is way better because I met you. You don't have to say that. I do. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest dramas aimed at a teenage audience that have graced our screens over the past 10 years. If we missed any of your favourites, let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Derry Girls Being a teenager is hard enough without growing up in Northern Ireland, at the tail end of the Troubles. This is what they want. They want ordinary people to suffer. This is what it's all about. I'm pretty sure interfering with their sunbed sessions isn't very high up on anyone's political agenda, Aunt Sarah. I wouldn't be so sure. The success of Derry Girls stems from its ability to factor in the historical context of its characters while still focusing on their teenage lives. The show takes place in the town of Derry and follows a group of five friends as they navigate the social and political climate of the time. You can't be the editor. You've never even written an article, Erin. That's because I can't get anything past Rupert Murdoch over there. This isn't fair. You can't let it happen, sister. I know. But I'm bored now, so it looks like I probably will. Good luck all! The characters aren't real, but a lot of the events that serve as a backdrop to their high school years are. Watching these hilarious teenagers attend Catholic school while living through real-world events such as the visit of one President Bill Clinton is a ton of fun. Standing here in front of the Guild Hall, looking out over these historic walls, I see a peaceful city, a safe city, a hopeful city full of young people that should have a peaceful and prosperous future. The series also perfectly captures the 90s aesthetic, from its fashion to its soundtrack. Number 9. Riverdale If the success of Riverdale is any indication, it seems the facts of being a teenager haven't really changed that much from the 1940s until now. Game changer. Archie got hot. He's got abs now. Six more reasons for you to take that ginger bull by the horns tonight. Based on the popular comic characters that originated 80 years ago, this campy teen drama has been a consistent hit for the CW. Riverdale brings back those classic Archie comic characters, but puts a spin on the source material that's deliciously self-aware and fun. I dropped out in the fourth grade to run drugs to support my nano. That means you haven't known the triumphs and defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school football. But you will. As the show has grown more ridiculous over the years, with magical powers and musical episodes abounding, it's definitely left its mark on teen television. We'll miss this one when it's gone. Don't need nothing but a good time. How can I resist? Number 8. Outer Banks When the COVID-19 pandemic began in early 2020, it seemed like everyone started watching the same shows. One such was Netflix's Outer Banks. Square groupers, bro. Okay, flying under the radar. No aerial surveillance. They don't do that stuff during a hurricane. It premiered in April of 2020 and follows the economic and social divides between teenagers living in the popular North Carolina vacation spot. With murder, treasure hunting, and hookups galore, Outer Banks filled a teen soap opera hold for us all. Ah! Oh, 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 yeah, real original. Wait, Funny. seriously, there's something in here. And even when the series got a little too soapy for its own good, we couldn't stop watching. Hey, we didn't have anything else to do. However, even with the return to normalcy, the show's popularity was held strong, with a third season set for 2023. Guys, this is it. This is the Pogue life. We are in the Caribbean. It's our own little slice of paradise. With my best friends, with my family. So I don't know. Wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. Number 7. Heartstopper Sometimes a teen show comes along that warms your heart. In this case, it stopped it too. You're over there, next to Nicholas Nelson. He's in year 11, so only one year older than you. One of the rugby boys too, I think. I'm sure you'll get along swimmingly. Heartstopper premiered on Netflix in 2022 and was basically an instant hit. It follows a gay teen named Charlie who falls in love with a jock classmate named Nick. While Charlie is out, Nick is questioning his sexuality. The show handles both boys' story with care and empathy, and has made rising stars out of its two main characters. 
Not only is the love story told beautifully, but fans love how open the show is about all types of LGBTQ plus representation. I'm not going to make you go because I'm a nice teacher. And when I was at school, I thought that hiding from it all was safer, easier. But sometimes the loneliness was just as bad. Don't let anyone make you disappear, Charlie. Heartstopper has been renewed for a second and third season, and we can't wait to see where it goes next. Number six, the sex lives of college girls. It's all there in the title. This 2021 teen show follows a group of college freshmen as they navigate friendship, class, and of course, sex. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you stop? Jumping our daughter off at school. The sex lives of college girls doesn't necessarily change the game when it comes to the teen canon, but takes what makes the genre great and capitalizes on that. Watching the heroines romp around campus making mistakes along the way is irresistible. The invite said to dress casual. This is what Kappa means by casual. Yeah, this is some get out shit right here. If you're in college, it's more than relatable. If you're not, it's an exercise in nostalgia. The show interrogates how young adults interact with the world around them in both thoughtful and funny ways, striking a masterful balance between the two. Where are your clothes? Oh, gone about 15 minutes ago. Got comfortable, made myself some snacks. My parents are like obsessed with me wearing clothes at home. Oh, totally. Would you mind putting a towel down before you sit on the sofa? Why? Uh, because of your butt. Oh. Number five. Elite. If you love teen dramas and you love telenovelas, have we got the show for you. Elite is a Spanish language series that examines the lives of three scholarship students at a wealthy prep school. What makes Elite special is its incomparable ability to use all the teen tropes we love while still incorporating progressive ideas and storylines. The series is not afraid to back down from its soapy vibe and will give any telenovelas lover the fix they need. If loving this type of TV is wrong, then we don't want to be right. Mi padre siempre había sido muy estricto conmigo. Y me inventé todo esto para perjudicarles. Pero ahora me doy cuenta de lo lejos que he llegado. Number 4. On My Block When it comes to teen shows, we generally see the same type of kids reflected. They're wealthy, suburban, and usually white. On My Block changed the game. Take it in. This is about to be us. This is high school. The popular Netflix comedy drama follows four teenagers living in a tough Los Angeles neighborhood. But what sets this series apart is that it doesn't just focus on the super difficult aspects of these kids' lives. Happy New Year! Did y'all know there's a pregnant white girl on your porch? <laughs> uh, surprise. While that's definitely a factor, On My Block takes more time to focus on the everyday trials and tribulations that teens face. Monse, Ruby, Jamal, and Caesar all have to deal with crushes, school dances, classes, and all else that being a teenager entails. This is mountain lion territory, and the higher we get, the more probable an attack becomes, which hopefully doesn't happen since I'm using my homemade death spritz, which makes us smell toxic to the predators. Number three, never have I ever. Mindy Kaling has created numerous great shows throughout our lifetime, and we can't thank her enough for her contribution to society. But Never Have I Ever, which is semi-based on Kaling's own experiences as a teenager, might be her best work yet. Guys, sophomore year is going to be our year. I can feel it. Sophomore actually means Y school in Greek, so it can really go either way. Oh my god, I just realized that this is our last first day of sophomore year we'll ever have. The story follows Devi Vishwakumar, a 15-year-old Indian-American Tamil girl, and her group of friends as they navigate high school. The show does an incredible job of representing Devi's culture and home life, and injecting that into the way she experiences the world. You kissing? Your father's ashes have barely begun to drift out to sea. Get on this car! Always the short ones. Plus, when you add in jokes by the minute and a hilarious narration from tennis star John McEnroe, there's not much more to ask for. It's the last day of school, folks, and Davy was feeling good. She'd moved on from Des 
and was one step closer to the pinnacle of human existence, senior year. Number two, sex education. Netflix has basically ruled the teen drama canon for the past few years, but one show rises above the rest, and that's sex education. This is not the bathroom. Sorry, man, I'm very sorry. I'm uh, sleeping uh, with my mother. Correct. <laughs> awkward. I'm Dan, and you are Otis. The show follows Otis, a slightly awkward teen who starts giving sex advice to his classmates based on the works of his sex therapist mother. With a premise like that, you've got us hooked from the start. The show is open about the sexual confusion and apprehension that can come with being a teen. Even if Fiona had chlamydia, which she doesn't, you cannot catch an SDI from a pitch whistle. Well, it's too late. Everyone still thinks it's me anyway. It also does a great job at not shying away from those themes while still handling them with care and hitting almost every teenage experience imaginable. Add in a great cast and you've got yourself a hit for sure. It's Kyle. <laughs> He's charging people for advice, calling himself the sex king. I mean, we have to tell someone. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Society, canceled too soon. Why, Netflix, why? Who did this? Hmm? Who shot my sister? Why did you do that? We've needed her! Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. We love a spooky teenage witch. I've been living in hell more or less full time, but once we're married, I want to start splitting my time again. Between hell and here. Scam. This Norwegian streaming series broke viewership records galore. Justin Bieber, men English is like I'm just doing my best. Are you? Are the are they ill? No, 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 they're not ill. They're not so ill. Wednesday. Can Wednesday Adams be our best friend? I turn into a teenage cougar mom. Yeah, I cruise through the city and I roam the streets. The Hundred, the teen apocalypse genre at its best. Gina was real. She always saw the light, even here. She deserved better. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Euphoria. When it comes to teen dramas, there's one that no one can stop talking about. In its two seasons, Euphoria has taken the internet and the world by storm. It's made a certifiable star out of Zendaya, if she wasn't already, and also been highly controversial for its frank discussions of drug use and sexuality. This is a story that absolutely merits telling, and we just can't seem to get enough of the look and feel of it. Euphoria's cinematography is one of its finest aspects, and the costumes, hairstyles, and makeup have made their way into teen culture. Also, name us a show that's been more memed. We'll wait. Yo, what was your name again? Lexi. Lexi. I like that. That's a nice name. Thanks. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.